hi everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is eva if this is your first time on my channel you are most welcome please hit the subscribe button to join the family thank you so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a six pieces skirt using a basic skirt pattern so a six pieces skirt is basically a flat skirt that is divided into six panels the front and the back are almost the same. The only difference is there is zip at the back of the skirt. So we are going to create this using a basic skirt pattern. The measurements you are going to use are your round waist measurement, your hip measurement, your round hip measurement. We are going to need your measurement from your waist to your knee line. If you're not certain how loose or how fitted it should be at the knee, just minus three inches or three and a half inches from your hip measurement. And then we are going to need the full length of the skirt. So from my pattern paper, I came down by half an inch. That will serve as our waistline. And from that waistline, we are going to get all our vertical measurements. So from the waistline to 8 inches is my hip line. Also leaving my tape at the waistline, I'm going to go down by 17 inches. That is my knee line. And I will extend these lines. So we are just trying to create a basic skirt pattern. I'm just labeling the lines, my waistline, my hip line and my knee line. It's time to put our body measurements. Now put your waist divided by four. And I'm going to add one inch. That one inch will be used to join our middle panel. And then I'm going to add two inches for sewing allowance. And at the hip line, my hip divided by four. One inch for joining the center panel. And then two inches for sewing allow allowance. At the knee line, my round knee divided by four. One inch for joining the center panel and two inches for sewing allowance. Remember I said if you're not certain how fitted your round knee should be, subtract three or three and a half inches from your round hip measurement. Now we have our basic skirt pattern. The next thing to do is to get the middle panel. And to do this, we are going to use our bust pan measurement divided by two. My bust pan measurement is eight divided by two will be four. So I'm going to take four inches and I'm going to add half inch sewing allowance on that. Remember we gave one one inch for the waist, hip, and the knee line. So we are going to share it half half inch for the center panel and the side panel to be used to join together. So I'm taking four and a half, that is four inches for my bust pan divided by two and then half inch for sewing allowance. That is four and a half. I'm going to connect these lines. After connecting these lines, the next thing to do is to contour a knee line because this is a flay skirt. So to just give it like a little slant at the knee before the flay goes out. So I took half inch from both sides and then I connected it to the hip line. Now I'll cut out my panel. This is all we need to make our six pieces skirt. I'm just labeling, I just label the center front and the side front. So these two panels are all we need to cut a six pieces skirt. It's just a basic skirt pattern that was contoured at the knee. So when I got my fabric, I folded it into two. You fold your fabric depending on how wide you want your flay. I wanted my 22 inches when I open it up, so I took 11 inches because it's on fold. 
when I open it up it will be 22 inches Now get my center front panel and place it at the fold and I will use my chalk to just trace it from the waist and stop at the knee where it stopped and from that knee I'm going to connect it to that 11 inches that I want my flay to be. When I open it up it will be 22 inches. I hope you understand what I'm, I'm doing. Please just watch what I'm doing if you don't understand what I'm saying. I just gave a little notch at the knee. So here is my front panel. When I open it up, it will be 22 inches. So I'm going to use this to cut my back panel. When cutting other panels, please be mindful of your pattern, your fabric pattern. As you can see, mine is identical. So I can cut from any part of my fabric. So I'm going to fold my fabric into two, but this time it will be wider than the front panel because we need like a little tail at the back. So I'm going to place my center front. You can see the space I left at the front before I placed this my center front. I left about eight to nine inches that will serve as a tail and then I'm going to place my pattern paper this is just to trace out my hip line and my knee line that is all I needed this for and then at the waist I'm going to give two inches for my zip allowance at the waist and then on the hip, I will take two inches also. Then at the knee line, I'm not going to take two inches. I'm going to take one and a half inches. I'm going to connect these lines. After connecting the lines, I'm going to connect from the knee line to the end of my fabric. Because we are using the whole length of the Ankara fabric for a full length. Just watch what I'm doing. From that knee line, I'm going to connect it all the way down in a flay. And then I'm going to cut out this. So here are my front panel and my back panel. I'm just going to give a little notch to indicate where my zip allowance starts at the back. Now we are done with this, let's go over to cutting our side panel. For my side panel, I folded my fabric into four. As you can see, my fabric is folded into four because the side panels are into four two for the front and two for the back and they are all the same so we are going to cut it at once now my fabric is folded into four now I'll get my center part and place it on my fabric i'll just use it to trace out the flay the flay of the the part of the side flay that will be joined to the center front that is why i'm just tracing this out i'll trace this out with my chalk you can just cut this out instead of tracing it with your chalk so as you can see i left about seven to eight inches for my side flay so i'm going to place my side panel trace it out with a chalk And then from the knee where my pattern stop, I'm just going to connect it to the end of my fabric. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing, even if you don't really understand me. So I'm going to cut this out. So 
so here are my four side panels i'm going to use all my panels to cut out my linings these are my linings my linings are exactly as all my panels and they are also the same length but i'm going to reduce the length later on so it's time to sew these are my back panels as you can see my two center panels and then my two side panels i'm going to take one of the side panel and join to one of the center panels just watch what i'm doing then i'm going to stitch it from the waist down to the full length with half an inch i'm just joining right sides together and I'm going to go to the machine and sew it by half inch. I'm going to join both of them together with half inch. Also for my front panel, you can see my front panel and the two sides panel. So I'm going to join right sides together and stitch it by half inch. Also do the same for the other side. I've joined my front skirt panels together with half inch. Also did the same for my lining. Now my lining and my fabric are of the same length, but I'm going to reduce my lining length by one inch. So I'm going to take one inch away from the length. I'm taking one inch away from the length. So I'm going to cut this out. So my lining is now shorter by one inch. So now I'm going to join my lining to my main fabric with half an inch at the bottom. I will also reduce my back lining by one inch. I will cut this out. So my back lining is also shorter with one inch. I also join the back panel to the lining at the bottom with half an inch. So this is my front panel. I've joined it at the bottom with half an inch. If you look at the waist, you'll see that it's shorter with one inch. Now I'm going to pull my lining. I make sure my lining is equal at the waist with my main fabric. Just watch what I'm doing. Make sure your lining and your main fabric are equal at the waist and then from the waist we are going to join the lining to the main fabric by the side with half an inch we'll also do that for the other side same thing we did for the front we'll also do it at the back pull your lining make sure that the waist are equal and then sew the sides so I've joined my front panels together and given them a good press. As you can see at the bottom, my main fabric is a little folded in because my lining is one inch shorter. We do this so that your lining will not be poking out after sewing your skirt. I've also joined my back panels and given it a good press. So now it's time to join our back panels together. At the waistline, I'm just going to map out my zip allowance. I'm going to take one and a half inch at the waist and at the hip line, I'm just coming down by eight inches to get my hip line. I'm going to take one and a half inches. Remember when I was drafting my panels, I took two 
two inches for the zip but i've used half an inch to join my lining and my fabric together so now it's remaining one and half so i took one and a half at the waist one and a half at the hip line and then at the knee line i'm going to take one inch remember i took one and a half inch when i was drafting my panel i've used half an inch to sew my lining and my main fabric by the side so now it's remaining one inch so i'm going to connect these lines and then i'm going to connect it all the way down with just half an inch but before i join my back panels together i'm going to leave opening from my waist down to like 9 inches for my zip allowance. From there down, I'm going to stitch all the way down. I've done that. I even used a loose stitch to stitch my zip allowance, but I will lose in that later. Now it's time to insert my body measurement. My front panel and my back panel are together. So I'm taking my waist divided by 2. So whatever that is remaining there, I will share it equally between both sides. Just watch what I'm doing. Your body measurement divided by two. Because now we have two panels, the front and the back panel. So at the hip line, I'm going to take my hip divided by two. And then whatever is remaining there, I'm going to share it equally between the both sides of the skirt. Also at my knee line, my knee, round knee is 36. I'm going to divide 36 by 2. Impute the measurement and whatever is remaining, I'm going to share it equally between the both sides. And then I'm going to shape my skirt. When I'm done, I'm going to go to the machine and join these two panels together, the front and the back panel together. So here is my skirt. My skirt is coming to life. The next thing to do is to just insert my zip. And at the back, I just came down by half an inch. Just leave half an inch at the waist before you insert your zip. Just come down from the waist, just half an inch. But before I fix my zip, I'm just going to trim the center of my skirt, the front of my skirt, sorry, with half an inch. So that when I'm putting my band, it will sit perfectly at my waist and not be gaping. Please just watch what I'm doing. This is the center of my front panel. I'm just going to come down there by half an inch and I'll trim that out. This is to enable our waistband sit perfectly at our waist without gaping. So I'm going to trim this off and then I'll, I'll go and fix my zip. I've fixed my zip. Our skirt is almost done. So for my waistband, my waist is 29, but I cut a waistband that is 31 inches long. That is 2 inches longer than my actual waist. And the length of the band is 4 inches. I've also folded like half an inch. As you can see, this will just enable me to easily fix my band. So now I'm going to open up my skirt and I'm going to sew in my band starting from the inside. 
I'm going to match the right side of my band to the wrong side of my skirt. Please watch what I'm doing. But before I do that, I will bring out, I will leave like one inch out from the band. Remember, my band is two inches longer than my waist. Please just watch what I'm doing. Then I'm going to sew it all the way around. I've done that. Now, that one inch that was remaining, I'm going to fold my band like so and then turn it right side facing each other to just stitch it. I'm just trying to close that edge so that it will be neat. Watch what I'm doing, please. I'm just going to run a little stitch there and also do the same for the other side. Fold in what you sewed at the top and then fold in again and then stitch it. After doing that, I'm just going to trim out the excesses so that I can turn my band out. So after turning my band out, all I'm just going to do is to go to my machine and do like a top stitch on top of the band from one end to the other. And that is all for this band. It's so easy to fist. So I've fist my band. As you can see, it's very neat. So our skirt is ready. The only thing left is to just put your skirt hook and eye at the band. Trust me, this is the easiest way to make this six pieces skirt. Just get a basic skirt and do your little contour at the knee line and that is it. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel at this point, please do where to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please also follow me on Instagram to send me requests of the things that you think I should do tutorials on. So I'll go ahead to test this case so that you see how it looks on me. You can see it's very free on me. I can move around. It's very comfortable. Thank you so much for watching. And please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.